Are space vacations our future? We are now in what is known as the 21st century space race. A race that could potentially lead to vacations in space. Except this time, it won't be NASA doing the work alone. Instead, it will be done through private space flights from commercial companies. In fact, this year marks a major milestone. US billionaire Elon Musk's SpaceX launched humans to the International Space Station. The International Space Station is a large spacecraft in orbit around Earth. It serves as a home where a crew of astronauts live. The coolest thing about it? It makes 16 orbits of Earth, traveling through 16 sunrises and sunsets, in 24 hours. Today, NASA's commercial crew program is expanding on agency relationships with private companies. NASA is relying on private companies like SpaceX and Boeing to build a spacecraft capable of carrying humans into orbit. When the spaceship is built, both companies retain ownership and control of the craft, but NASA can use it to send astronauts into space. A win-win situation! On May 30th, 2020, SpaceX carried two NASA astronauts on the Crew Dragon capsule, Doug Hurley and Bob Benkin, to the International Space Station, the ISS. SpaceX Dragon, we're go for launch. Let's light this candle. Three, two, one. And brought them back safely to Earth. This mission, called Demo-2, was the first time a private spacecraft carried humans into orbit. It also contains groundbreaking technology. The Crew Dragon capsule is capable of automatically docking at the space station. And it is also reusable. On November 15, 2020, SpaceX launched a crew of four to the ISS on another Dragon capsule. The Crew Dragon Resilience carried four astronauts to the International Space Station. Are space vacations our future? Other companies, such as Blue Origin and Virgin Galactic, are specializing in suborbital space tourism. In fact, English business magnate Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic is running test flights on its suborbital space plane, which, if successful, will offer customers six minutes of weightlessness during its journey through Earth's atmosphere. SpaceX has also signed agreements to begin offering berths to paying passengers for Crew Dragon space tourist trips, likely with an extremely high price tag, as early as next year. More recently, on February 1, 2021, SpaceX announced the launch of Mission Inspiration, the world's first all-commercial astronaut mission on a multi-day journey to orbit the Earth. time in history, a crew made up entirely of private citizens, tourists if you will, will venture into space. The mission was to take place in the fourth quarter of 2021 and seeks to raise support for St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. Haley Arsenault, a 29-year-old cancer survivor and physician assistant at St. Jude Children's Hospital, will be one of the four crew members on Inspiration4. St. Jude wanted to talk to me about an opportunity. I had no idea it would be this. Arsenault is now slated to become the youngest American, the first pediatric cancer survivor, and the first ever person with a prosthesis to journey into space. Men managed to make it to the moon 50 years ago, and for many years, the red planet has been the next obvious stop. Whether or not it's far into the future, just the thought of space travel is truly exciting. What do you guys think? Do you think space travel will become so accessible that it will be possible for private citizens to routinely visit the final frontier in capsules sometime in the near future?